Okay, so safe here, just in case. This first level is actually really, really easy. It's made to seem as though it is quite difficult because obviously you do have to avoid people uh, and you are like back there I was walking through a room with two guys in and if they had noticed me then they would have called for security almost well instantly and then I would be very dead very quickly but like there are certain there are trigger points where like for example if I dropped into the corridor back there or back, back into that room while they were still chatting I would have been dead almost instantly because the guards would be on me but because I waited till they finished their bit of story, a bit, a bit of uh, dialogue, exposition, uh, this thing's fried. they yeah. moved away uh, and gave me the so opportunity to progress. And yeah, a similar thing, thing happens in this scene as well. Out by vehicle maintenance. Stark fixed that this morning. Because if you Eddie? notice that door, that's yeah. where we're headed. All right. I guess so I guess we just listen. Do I mean? How's it going, Toby? Either of you remember the name of that auditor that was in here last week? The uh, one with the nice ass. Why, are you in love or something? I'm supposed to review her report, but she hasn't sent it over yet. Wasn't it Sanchez? I think it was Sandoval. Sanchez sounds right. I'm pretty sure it was Sandoval. I'll try both. Ask her if she's dating anybody. Yep. So these these sections, this, well, as I say, the first level is pretty easy, but you can still get noticed very easily. There is a as long as you do everything right, it's really well, it's relatively easy. It's just there is still a lot of opportunities for you to mess up. Although we are at our destination, so let the face hugging commence. God damn, that's gotta hurt. I guess you won't remember it though. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, this is pretty messed up. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, that was messed up. I remember seeing that scene, uh, well, when they, that was pretty awesome back in the day, playing the game originally. But it's, even now it's still pretty cool. I think it just goes to show how much effort Monolith put into making this game. Okay, so we're on the second part of the first mission. Uh, where we're playing as the chestburster. Note to everybody watching, playing as uh, well, the chestburster is the most useless, well, most vulnerable, as it says there, stage of the xenomorph life cycle. You are pretty much, well, you're completely useless in this form. have to sort of sneak by everybody somehow yeah uh, you wander off down there buddy I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna go down here it's very simple this this whole bit for the Whole bit for chest, but 15 minutes late. I'm sure he'll show up soon. He better. <laughs> this whole section for the chest burster is a lot like the or that earlier section as the face hugger. You basically, well, it's a bit harder, but it's basically the same 
principal? You wait. Oh god. You waiting for opportunities to? You waiting for gaps in their their search patterns and taking advantage of that? So it's a bit like Metal Gear Solid for aliens. Basically just hiding the shadows a lot and you hopefully you won't be seen. I don't know, they're... they're uh, Drop shit. Oh. Leave me alone. They're uh, you know, their view cones are very unpredictable, which is why I'm saving them all. Like, this is a lot like Mel Gibson, isn't it? Oh. Dude, it sounds like a cat. How do you not know what a cat sounds like? That's where we're headed, by the way. Through that gate, or whatever's on the other side of that gate. Hopefully this means hopefully the fact he doesn't have a light means we're a bit safe with this guy. So it's not too hard, it's harder than the face hacker section of this level. But it's not like impossible or anything, it's just a bit trickier. I think that like the most annoying part is the fact that if they do spot you if a guard does spot you, they will just chase you. Okay. Run for it. Do not know if this is the way we're supposed to go, but oh yes, yeah, this way. So. That's the last one. Is he still falling? No, no, we got past him. That's good. So basically, yeah, basically what you have to do is just getting there. Yeah. Fifteen containers. The whole time I've been at this dump, we've been rationing. Guess we'll go this way. And then snuck in here. There we go, I think this is the end of the first level. Just need to find a gap in the fence and then we're done. There we go. Oh, there we go. Time to nosh on some cats. <laughs> 